All right, YouTube, so we just made it to Glamis, California in the new Stryker 2916. And I'm gonna give you my real personal first expression review on this thing because pulling it was a dream, but I had to figure out a few things along the way, kind of how to adjust the stabilizing hitch and the sway control. So we're pulling it with an F250. This F250 does have airbags on it on 37s, sits a little taller, so we had to adjust for that on the hitch. And huge difference, adjust the sway control. As you're going, play with this. Uh, first hour and a half, it was real loose. We were going past some trucks and it felt like it was kind of pulling around. So I did just tighten this up and that made a world of a difference. So, but it does look like it may have been rubbing there or something, but we'll see that as we go home. Well, oh, almost dropped you, but we'll check it out. Um, the wife and kids are starting to get some stuff set up. And like I said, this is the 2916. I wanna give you my real review because all I could find was the dealership stuff. I wanna show you what I wanted to look for because we're loading a four seater RZR 2016 turbo in this. We put my daughter's quad in it. We put her little big dig so that she can play in the sand. She's already getting going. So let's show you how we set it up. But one of the biggest benefits I really enjoy, and I know my wife did too, is the two doors. That's a big reason why we picked this trailer. This is why we love being out here though too. So we picked this trailer because of the floor plan. Uh, Genesis makes nice trailers too, but it's just kind of the same old thing on every trailer. So having the two doors was really convenient because the whole back is completely loaded. We needed to use a restroom at a truck stop and we could get to it. We could get to our fridge still. I'll show you that so that we can load the fridge right before we leave and then the entire trailer was loaded and ready to go. But just very convenient. The two door thing, super awesome idea. I'm glad that we went with this trailer. It's a beautiful trailer too to top it off. Looks good on the truck. Has the electric stabilizers. So once we get set up, I'll show you how all those work. And then I will also show you how we have everything loaded inside because that was super awesome for us, easy. It took us about an hour and a half, I would say, to kind of figure out our setup, um, cause it is so new to us. So I'm gonna show you how we got this set up. All right guys, so coming into this, we'll have to open these gates so that we can get everything out but her little quad fit perfect in the back. And what made this easy to load is we dropped these bunks down. So you got tons of room, look how much, and everything was nice to organize. Usually we're kind of stuffing things into areas and sliding around. We could strap our jack down real nice. We get the quad to fit perfect. Everything's not sliding around and it has area to walk around and get it all set up. We did have the slide open when we loaded the razor and then pulled it in, making sure not to hit it and then closed it in on the razor so that our front wheel would get past it. But tons of room for storage. Kelly's actually getting those opened up and then it'll just let the car come right back down. Okay, everyone, I just wanna show you uh, where we kind of put everything when we loaded the razor because this was probably my biggest pain point is trying to figure out how to load these things. And I didn't want stuff to slide around. The tables that come with this trailer and I'll go show you them. They're all metal, so they actually are really slippery and they slide around the trailer really, like a lot. So I put them back here just so that they don't slide around and like hit the walls or anything. We got Kenzie, she's unloading too, all of her toys. But I didn't want them sliding on this floor and damaging it. So we did just put our normal chairs under the razor and those ones have a lot more fabric so they don't slide as much. And then the two chairs that come in the trailer are stuffed over here. So let me walk around, but let me see here. So the two recliners that they come with, this one I actually picked up and over the car and put it here. Then the other one before I loaded, I put up front. Let me see, it's kind of tough to get to. I just really want to show you guys this stuff before I unload out. Okay. So then this one here is up front, which still allows us perfect access. So when you open that door, we can close it and still have plenty of access to the fridge. Uh, we gotta get this slide out, out. 
I did favor the car to this side. So as you can see, we were away from the slide. Now, if you have a little bit bigger car, because they're getting bigger and bigger every year, might be a little bit tighter, but we had this slide open and then we did close it before. So that's a few things on how we loaded this trailer. Everything fit amazing. We came from a 21 foot toy hauler that we had to squish this thing in. So I love this trailer and I can't wait to go over all the rest of the features and show you them because it's just very luxurious. And the reason we went with the Stealth, I say hand over fist, is it doesn't look like every trailer on the market. It's very unique. All right guys, so we just made it back from Glamis Sand Dunes. And this video did start out there and we showed you how we kind of had everything set up, but I figured you'd get a better review if you had our honest opinion and how it was after we used it for the first time. So come on in and let me show you what we did. We just unloaded the razor, everything was dirty, but the way that this flooring is and everything made it easy to clean, blow out, very nice. This rug that's in here that it came with is really nice, but we didn't bring it because we didn't want it to get it ruined. Uh, at the sand dunes, there's a lot of dirt and dust. But when we do load the razor, one key thing is that these beds are down. So you see them in the down position. Earlier in the video, I showed you what this looked like when it was all loaded up. But you do have to pull these pins up here and I'll have Kelly come give you a close up, which my wife's behind the camera. But, so these pins you pull out, the bed actually slides back and forth on this locking mechanism, comes down, you can relock them in. It does need to be in the down position to make it easier for you to load your razor and then Okay, Ken's, Kenzie's gonna show you around a little bit too. But um, we do have these chairs in special spots because when that razor comes in, we put it past this chair, so this chair, and you'll see earlier in the video where these were set around the car, but we leave them in this position so you're not having to lift them and move them and do all that sorts of stuff now that we finally figured it out with the slide, the way it goes out and in. Um, but really after using this, and my wife can attest to it as well, it was a lot more comfortable to have this than our old 21 foot toy hauler. So, okay, Kansas is gonna show you around, but let me show you something. This one, I researched forever. The stereo on the Stealth. So this, you press, or Striker, forgive me, you press this one here, then you press position. And what that's gonna allow you to do is you're gonna be able to change this from the front speakers to the indoor speakers. So once it's center, if you press that, you have the same sound in and out and then if you want to go forward you press it up and it transitions the sound outside and it will give it a balance the more you put it towards the top it's going to go all the way outside or if you just want it inside you're going to bring it all the way inside and then you can take it back to to both so let me and Mackenzie show you Mackenzie wants to show you around you want to pick you up so we can show her okay so what are we going to show them next what did you like the most So it does have a lot of storage space um, that we've found to be very useful. This is actually the amp that goes to the base, which now the base to have in here is very nice for maybe like a movie or something like that. But when you're playing the stereo, it seems to be a bit too much because it rattles the cabinet. So there's pros and cons to everything. And we're going to let you know that. For me, what we did is we actually turned the bass all the way off while we were listening to them at night. And Kenzie's actually cleaning the back. As you can see, she slides her butt down, cleans part of the tailgate. But, so, a few pros there. Um, one weird thing that women will probably appreciate, men will not know so much until my wife points it out. You see how these cabinets open in the angle? You wanna pull them the right way. If I were to guess, I would wanna take this one because of the way the handle is and pull it up but it actually comes out. Just small, silly things, but could still be improved on, I believe. Um, one thing with ours, and I saw on some of the forums, all of this like wrapped fake looking wood is coming apart in between all of the cabinets. Every single one of them has an issue. So they are warranting it. Granted, when you hear my pros and cons, they're honest feedback but we love this trailer. It's just a few things I wish were a little bit more, especially when you look up the MSRP of this, that were just a little bit more fine touch that we don't have to already deal with when we picked it up. Um, we had plenty of space when we were cooking. 
it was nice to have this large countertop because in a lot of normal trailers, you have that L shape, very small space. And then you have a hallway with the bathroom. This is what was our favorite part is the way that this slide is. It really optimizes how much space you get in the kitchen versus how much you get out there in the storage area, which is a 16 foot garage. Um, you have tons and cabinet space up here, which we utilize for our food. And in this one as well, there's definitely more than enough cabinet space. Uh, one thing to check as we were going along, we did have to come in here and tighten this because it did loosen up a little bit just because we hit a pretty bumpy road on I-10. Okay, we really didn't even use the TV much at all this weekend, but we did use it as we were loading up to let Kenzie enjoy watching a movie while we were packing. But one thing I think they really need to do is integrate the sound from the TV to the stereo. Because right now, you only get the sound from the TV through the TV speakers. And for us to run a DVD player, which we have a DVD player in there, we have to hang the cord out here. It would be awesome if we didn't, we had something that was pre-wired for an accessory with the red, yellow, white cable. So we could just throw a DVD player in there. Um, but it is nice that you have a space up here to put your DVD player in and run it. There is other videos I have found. There is a guy that found a almost Wi-Fi booster to go to your, um, to go to your stereo. And if I can find that, I'll throw the link in the description. Are you going? Okay. So now what I'm going to do is take you into the bathroom, show you what this is. It's very nice and spacious. Coming in here, we do have a lot of room for activities, but we also can easily clean the kids. We can take a shower if you're over six foot. I'm not that tall, but if you were, look how high that shower head is and look how much room you have. I've seen other reviews of other trailers with lower ceilings. You guys, we're almost touching the roof. This one's a much nicer bathroom. Uh, a few things I think they could still improve on. Putting a little bit of silicone on this so that it stays to the glass, which we are gonna do ourselves. Um, and also back to the cabinets. If you're looking at yours, check out all the cabinets. Ours came poorly painted. Um, dealership is taking care of it. I'll give them credit on that. They've said everything that is not up to our standard, they're gonna take care of. Uh, but a few things that were kind of a miss is where to put the toilet paper. You tell me, where'd you put yours if you have one of these? Um, I think we're gonna actually probably put a toilet paper holder here on the side of the sink. That'll solve that problem. But for now, we just use it on the countertop. One thing I love about this bathroom is the electric vent. So we open the vent electrically and we can pop on the fan while you're taking a poop. So all your stank goes out. Then we can close it nice and easy. But carrying into the master bedroom, that's where I wish we had an electric vent because it is pretty tall. So I'm gonna have to climb onto the bed to do that because it's by hand. So then coming through here though, you do have an area for your mounting bracket. If you wanna mount a TV, it does not come with a TV. You do have electrical pre-ran and cable so that you can get TV channels. Really love how comfortable this master bedroom was. Our daughter's only three, so she sleeps with us. So all three of us slept in here. It was super comfortable. Um, it is convenient. I'm gonna swing over here and show you. It's convenient that this bed moves back and forth. So see how it slides? It's on a sliding system. Well, my wife and I are a little bit shorter and it is tough to make this king bed. So we do have to slide it kind of back and forth so that you can tuck the corners. Um, that helps out a lot and so that you can make a walkway for our little one. She had a little step here to come up into the bed. But as you can see, I have to kneel over here to get to the generator switch. It's nice in the morning when you want to start your gen right when you wake up. It's inconvenient throughout the day. Anytime you want to start the trailer, you're having to walk in here. Yes, we know you can do it outside, but who wants to do it outside? So we'd always have to walk back here, climb up over it and start the generator from there. Um, generator ran amazing. We did have to set the altitude adjustment because the dealership did not set it. But once it was set, everything worked perfect. We do have nice cabinet space. It doesn't look like much, but they're actually really nice for the depth. And we fit all of our clothes for all three of us in here. And, but 
few downfalls, we're gonna go back to the cabinets. I would say, overall, we love this trailer. If we didn't, we wouldn't have bought it. But the cabinets are probably the worst quality when it comes to anything on this. You can see right here, we have a ton of wiggle room. This one's actually gonna have to get pretty much re-hinged, I believe, but you see it wobbling and still a poor painted finish. But it works for us now. Dealership's gonna take care of all that stuff. It does have nice blackout shades. We have a lot of sun coming through right now, but if you see, beautiful blackout shades that can make everything nice and private when you wanna to go to bed at night. And as you're driving, you wanna always store these up so that they're not banging on the walls and damaging the walls. So we'll come back around this way though. We have a nice door entryway to the kitchen. So in case someone's using the restroom, we can always come back and forth through here. And I would say overall, this is probably one of my favorite layouts. That's why we got this trailer. Um, if you're comparing this to a lot of other trailers, you'll notice that there's a few different floor plan layouts and this one's pretty unique. And that's why we went with it. It's very enjoyable and you can see how long this slide is actually. So I'm back here and this slides all the way to the master bedroom. So that really opens this entire floor plan out. And I, like I said earlier in the video, I showed you some of the things we adjusted on the trailer, on the hitch setup. Adjust yours right. We did come back with a empty water because we, we emptied all the fresh water. We do have some gray water left, but we didn't use a lot of water. So coming back, we had to readjust our bags to make the vehicle pull it better. And once we readjusted the airbags, brought the nose down, made everything run a lot better. But overall, I would like to say that this is a great trailer and I hope you find this beneficial. If you're looking for a new trailer and you're looking at this one in specific, because I found a ton of videos online, but I didn't find any that with a really good walkthrough. And I will tell you the main thing, I tried looking for that stereo thing everywhere and it was pretty tough to find. Once we found it, it was easy to use. Uh, now, one th other thing I have to show you is that these bed systems, we did the up down, we showed you that stuff, but it does come with locks. I didn't even see these. The dealership didn't even do tell me about them when we were doing our walkthrough. So these do slide up and down and they do lock the headpiece in that flips up. So you need to make sure you pull these out in the open position on both sides. There's also one toward the tongue. You're gonna pull that out and that's gonna allow this section to flip upwards. So if you're struggling at all, when you're trying to pull on it, check both those locks. I won't lie, I pulled on them. My wife was telling me, quit pushing it. And of course you saw plastic pieces flying everywhere. So don't be that guy. All right, now just to finish up, I gotta show you one last thing. We really enjoyed these recliners that this thing came with. That's why we brought them with us. They're lightweight, easy to move around, but I do have to show you how to close them because that's one tricky thing. These are so comfortable, I could probably fall asleep right now in this video, but you're gonna pull here. It's gonna come up like a normal recliner. You're gonna enjoy it, it can lay out for you. But the trick is, is if you push down on this, like right now, if I take my feet and I push down, it won't close. If you cup your heel around the edge, pull it towards you, it just falls in place. I kid you not how long we tried to mess with that the first night and then found that trick out and it does it every single time. So hopefully all this stuff helps you with your new trailer. Let me know if you're filming. I'm filming. Okay, so I don't have my mic on, so it might be hard to hear me, but the last thing you need to check is when these dealerships give you the trailer, make sure the black and the gray tanks are shut. I'm about to open this thing and the black tank was open. So it means poo poo gonna go over my hands. And I'm hoping all I got is this. I'm hoping that I can somehow dodge the poo poo and then rinse it in the gutter. But. Yep. <laughs> <It's> fucking food. <laughs> <laughs> <Ew. laughs>